Well, I'll come with you. No, I got it. I decided to keep the house. I'm not selling it. Why? It's home. I think you helped me remember that. Do you think Catherine will like it here? Well, I don't see why not. Now, it's beautiful and calm. People are friendly. Air's clean. <laughs> hey, what's going on with you? You want the truth? Because like you said, you got a lot of people in your life who tell you what they think you want to hear. So maybe you like it that way. I'd rather hear the truth. Okay, well, you're about to marry a woman you barely know. You don't know her favorite color. You don't know her favorite flower. You don't even know if she wants to have a family. I mean, it seems to me you know nothing about her at all. No, I, I know everything I need to know. Why are you here planning your wedding without her? Why am I here making all the decisions she should be making? Where is she? I told you she's, she's busy filming. Okay, look. You and I have been friends a long time, so I'm going to shoot you straight. All right. Okay. You can't marry Catherine Mann. You don't love her. I do. I do love her. Why did you kiss me? I shouldn't have done that. All right, I, I'm sorry. I just, I just got caught up in the music and... In the moment. So that's all that was. You got caught up in the moment. Yeah. <sighs> Look, I get that you're scared. Okay, you got your heart broken as a kid. And you are afraid to no. love too much ever again. Well, you know what? Love is scary. It is terrifying to put your heart out there, but you do it anyway. You do it in spite of the fear because a life without love, that's just half a life. And you don't get married because you like the same things and because you live similar lifestyles. You get married because you can't stand the thought of not being together. You get married because you love the other person with your whole heart. That's, that's just a fantasy. Maybe it is. But I don't think you should settle for less. You know, just because you knew me when I was a kid, it doesn't mean you know me now. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Look, you and me had a deal, okay? You'd help me mend my fences and I'd help you plan your wedding, so I guess we're done. Okay, let's get started. Bradley, up to. All right, you'll stand here next to me, face this way. And Catherine, when the music starts, cross that bridge, down that row, and then you'll walk down the aisle towards Bradley. Got it. Okay, let's try this.
Hey, welcome home, Sarah. Well, thanks, Sam, but it's not home anymore. Just here to pack up. Oh, I see. Where will you go? I don't know. Sam? I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Yeah. See you around. to have a wedding today? Where's Catherine? I'm not sure. I don't understand. Well, I was thinking we could renew our vows. What? We got married when we were kids. I think that was our one chance of true love. True love, huh? Well, I don't know. That's romantic, not realistic. I agree. It's, it's rare. But I don't want to settle for less. You don't? Mint chip. Blue. Horses and dogs. <laughs> White lilies. This ranch. And these people. These are all my favorite things. I love you with all of my heart. And I want to walk through life leaning against you so that neither one of us falls. You are my true love. Sarah Stander. Will you marry me? Again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 